Here's Alina, and she just woke up, and look at her messy hair. You want to say hello to the camera, Alina? Say hi. Look at my hair all messy. See the back? Because she's been crying. Say hello to camera. Say hi, future Alina. Hi, Mama. Look at my chubbiness. So cute. See yourself? So cute are you? Look at you. Okay, she's still in the process of waking up. Okay, say bye bye. Here's Alina playing with mommy's makeup boxes. And she is very happy. What you got there, Alina? You have a MAC eyeshadow? What else do you have? What's that? Is that a NYX eyeshadow? Oh, putting everything into her bit tin. Is that a lipstick? Oh, you like the lipstick, huh? Nope, she's going for the MAC. <laughs> oh, let's not put that in our mouth, baby. So, one thing I like to do, let's not put that in our mouth, is save like these little empty makeup containers, like from MAC and Too Faced, and just any containers that I think is like really pretty and cute looking. I like to just save them. Oh, and she wants these. That's a, what's that? An iPhone case? Oh, so pretty. Okay, bye bye. Bye, Alina. Bye. <laughs> We are in the process of making dinner and waiting for Daddy to come home. And um, I am going to be making chicken noodle soup today. So what I usually like to do is I usually like to take um, the leftover bones of a rotisserie chicken. And I like to just put that in a pot of water and just boil. And then you have some soup. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing here. I know you guys can't see here, but in that pot there's some water and the leftover bones of chicken. So I'm just bringing that to a boil and waiting that to set. And then I have my veggies here. And what I usually like to do is just cut up like whatever leftover vegetables I have. And today I have some carrots and radish, I think, and cilantro. And then there's like my leftover chicken meat that's shredded. So I'm just gonna throw that all into the pot. And oh, I also wanted to add um, tofu to my chicken noodle soup. What I did is I just cut it up into like squares and I'm just gonna throw that into the soup and let it boil. And when it boils, the tofu actually gets really soft and tender. So it's really, really good and it's really healthy because you're not adding like a bunch of ingredients. My daughter's on the floor like playing with some boxes and toys and this is the only way that I can cook otherwise <laughs> it's really really difficult so um hi Alina hey we're almost ready okay um I wanted to do a shout out to mommy tips by Cole hi Nicole um I know that she recently is trying to eat a little bit healthier and was wondering um, what to do with tofu and how to cook it and stuff. I usually just put it in any types of soups or anything like that and it just tastes really really good. So yeah, I want to give a shout out to her. Anyways, if you guys haven't checked out Nicole's channel, Mommy Tips by Cole, please check her out. She is amazing. I absolutely love her. I absolutely love her channel and she's a mom as well and she does like beauty and vlogs and um, outfits of the days and all that jazz. So please check her out. Oh, you want it? Oh, who's that? Daddy's home. So this is how my daughter reacts when Daddy comes home. Hi. Say hi to Daddy. Hi, Alina. Daddy, I love you too. <laughs> oh. I got it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi. High five. So this is our dinner. It's our version of a chicken noodle soup with tofu in it. And I actually didn't have like the bow tie pasta or anything, so I put like the long spaghetti noodles. <laughs> so we'll probably eat it with like chopsticks or something. But yeah, this is a very healthy, delicious, yummy, easy version of chicken noodle soup. So we just got done with dinner and we're just hanging out upstairs giving my daughter her downtime before we put her down to bed. We usually like to read her some books and stories, like the going to bed book and other books that are back there. Um, but yeah, she just basically hangs out and then we'll, uh, I'll feed her and then she'll hopefully go down. She's been kind of fussy these past couple days, but yeah, we'll see. Hi, hi there. Yeah, you's about to, <gasps> you say bye-bye? <laughs> You say goodbye to the camera, Alina. You, you want to read that book together? Okay. The Going to Bed Book. Ooh. By Sandra Boynton. Go. Oh, you see the phone? So I'm in the process of putting my daughter down to bed right now. And you can hear her crying in the background. Um, but yeah, we usually just give her like 10-15 minutes of crying and and then go to her and comfort her and then let her cry it out again. But like depending on the type of cry, like we know if she's like really tired or she's just really, um, you know, almost about to go down. So if it's that type of cry, then we just kind of let her be and she usually falls asleep on her own. So it's about 7.30 right now and I'm probably just going to wait for her to fall asleep and then um, maybe I'll watch some TV or we'll watch a movie or something like that. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you're having a great night and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.